Hello, today I'm going to show you how to configure a smart donation form from SmartForm. So let's start. I already have a simple form here. I only have a name and a donation amount. And since I have my smart donation license activated, I am seeing this smart donation tab and also this PayPal tab where I can drag the components that I need. At this time, there are only two fields, Recurrence and Donation button. Uh, probably in the future, I'm going to add more. So, now that I have my form, I go to Smart Donations. I already have everything set up, but you need to configure the campaign. This is the PayPal campaign, the PayPal email that you want to use, and also the description. This is a description that you are going to see in the PayPal screen, I'm going to show you later. The currency, I am using USD, and lastly the donation formula. Um, this formula is the biggest difference between smart donations and smart form, and I think this makes smart form very powerful to create donation forms. Let me show you why I am saying that. Um, so like I say, I have this form, I have my donation amount field where the user are going to submit the amount that they want to donate and as you can see it has this ID. So with that I'm going to go to the Smart Donations tab and I'm going to click in the donation formula. In this formula I'm going to put only the donation amount for, for this example. This will create this string and as you can see it has the ID of the donation amount field so in for this scenario that's it I will go ahead and close this and save and I have my donation uh, my donation form ready but why I am saying this is powerful I'm going to do a, a little more complex scenario Let's say that you want to share this donation amount plus a fixed amount, I don't know, let's say shipping costs or something like that. With a smart donation, that kind of scenarios were, n were not very easy to do, but with a smartphone you only need to do something like this. This will share the amount that the user select in the donation amount plus 20, I mean plus 10 in this case dollars. Um, another common scenario is that instead of sharing a fixed amount you want to share or sell something like let's say bricks, bricks to build a house for example. So in instead of this you will put something like this So in this scenario each brick costs $20 and here the user is going to put the number of bricks that they want to buy, right? So you will go to Smart Donation and to the I mean to the Smart Donation formula and you will create a formula like this. So this will chart the amount they put in the bricks multiplied by 20 and that will be it for this scenario. Mm. Another common scenario is to try to use different fields to create a donation. I mean to mix uh, fields in the donation form in the donation form to get a donation amount. Um, let me better do an example. So let's say that you are supporting pets. So I'm going to drag a select box and in you and you also you are supporting cats. The the cost for supporting a cat is twenty dollars, let's say that. And for supporting a dog is twenty. And in your donation form you also put a field so the user can select how many dogs or pets they want
want to support so I have my form ready and again with the smart donation this kind of a scenario was very complex with smartphone you only need to do something like this well let me change the the name for this to something like this should work so let me go again to here and I'm going to put pet plus number of pets so this will charge for if you select a cat this will charge uh, 10 multiplied by the, by the number of pets or if you select a dog it will use 20 multiplied by the number of pets the user select so that's it let's try that form so I will select dogs I want to support two let me fill my name I will hit donate and that's it as you can see I am charged by supporting two dogs and also here I am seeing the description that I place in the smart donation configuration so that's it if you have questions please let me know